I'm wearing no makeup currently and I'm about to go into Sephora. I think there's like nobody around right now. I don't see people. I mean, nobody has helped us. It's not like they just came and helped me because that was not gonna happen. But yeah, now I'm gonna head on over to Sephora. I feel like I helped you. Hi guys, I'm Mar and today I'm super pumped because we are going to be trying out going to Sephora with absolutely no makeup on, completely bared face and then with full glam like I'm wearing right now. I'm actually about to head on over there right now. So I don't know, fingers crossed. Hope this video turns out okay. And you guys have been asking for both of these. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna mix it up into one video and just get it done with. No, but honestly, I just thought it would be cool to compare because when I did the wearing ugly makeup to Sephora and then also wearing ugly makeup to the Mac store, if you guys haven't seen those, I will leave links for you guys to go check out. But these were the two most asked for. <laughs> you guys were hilarious. You guys were like, you need to go have a pretty woman moment. Be like, oh, I can actually do my makeup. But yeah, this so far has been really interesting to me. It's just so weird how stores work. It's just, I don't get why. I mean, you could be a customer with makeup, with no makeup, with something expensive, with something cheap. And I definitely don't think you should be treated differently. But that's just me, you know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Also, tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday at the very least so you definitely want to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any new video also this but guys i'm so pumped so let's get started hey guys okay so i'm wearing no makeup currently and i'm about to go into sephora i have honestly no idea what's gonna happen i feel like i've gone into sephora with no makeup before and i can't even remember if they treated me right or wrong because it was such a long time ago i usually just buy online now so I, I don't know, I'm very curious. I think I'm gonna ask about foundation because since I'm wearing no makeup, it'll be easy for them to help me with that. And if they don't, I don't know why they wouldn't. So yeah, we're gonna go in. I literally have like nothing on my face, like not even brow product. So we're gonna see what happens and yeah, wish me luck guys. And I love my Nutella t-shirt guys. I love Nutella. It really makes you crave Nutella even more than usual. Okay, got some tea. We're gonna go in. How are you guys doing down we're there? Gonna go get some more tea. <laughs> we're gonna get some more tea. <laughs> This is right in front of the Mac store where the guy like completely ignored me. <laughs> I wonder if he's there. Well, he didn't ignore me. He just didn't provide the best service ever. Yeah. Okay, Sephora, here we go. Try and find some foundation. Oh, Too Faced. I love this collection. It's everything, literally everything. I was like dying with this. Okay. I think there's like nobody around right now. I don't see people. I'm gonna ask about foundation. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are the Stila. Well, there's quite a bit of people in here, and they're not like all glammed out or anything. You know, I will say, from looking at them with other people, the Sephora, the people seem nicer with other customers. Because they seem to be taking their time, which is fine. Hi! Hi. I mean, nobody has helped us, but there's also quite a bit of people here. So, and everybody's working and busy. Let me see if I can get her to help me. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm looking for foundation for my skin. It's very dry. Okay. You need a foundation match? Yeah. Okay. Give me a moment and I'll get her to spray you. Okay. Thank you. I actually do need a shade match, to be honest. Yeah, she came by just a second ago and said somebody was washing their hands and they were going to help me. Okay. I'm like trying to talk to you guys down there, but <laughs> you guys are like down there. Oh. Hi. Hi. Can you help with a color match? Yes. Please. What do you want to get matched to? Um, born this way. Born this way? Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't know. Is that, is that good? Yeah? I usually wear it darker than this. Do you want it darker? Let's no, try that's it. what I usually do. I don't, am I doing it wrong? No. Let's try another one. Warm beige? Warm beige. Oh. They're both like neutral undertones, so they're not going to read too like yellow. I usually feel like I'm yellow. I'm not yellow? Yeah, you're more yellow, but I would say this foundation to go more neutral. So you recommend which one? Uh, the darker one. It looks nice. good. It looks, makes your skin look super Thank like you. smooth. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, so I'm back with my bare face. Hair sleek, though. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys maybe some things that you missed while you watched the other part. But overall, I'm pretty happy. I don't think it was horrible. I know some of you guys have had really bad experiences when going to Sephora with no makeup on. Because trust me, I've been reading those comments. But this one, I don't think it was horrible. I mean, I did have to ask for help. It's not like they just came and helped me because that was not going to happen. I don't know if that will ever happen at Sephora, to be honest. But the girl that ended up helping me was really, really nice. The only thing is that I... 
I don't know. This might totally be in my head. You guys know I'm a little bit loca, huh? But I felt like she was looking at me kind of like she knew who I was. And I really hope that's not the case because these videos are so fun to do, guys. I don't know. It's strange. I don't even know how to describe it. I just feel like when you do this, like when you're on YouTube, sometimes people come up to you and they say hi. And sometimes people, like, you can tell they want to say something and they don't. So you start to see kind of like the way they're looking at you. And you start to recognize it. It's very strange, I know. So I honestly don't know if that had something to do with it. But she definitely was very very nice so now i'm curious to see how it's gonna go when i wear makeup so we need to get this face ready hey guys so right now i'm literally disgusting. Mm -hmm. disgusting. but you know what i'm surrounding myself with tacos not with negativity honestly i can really go for some tacos right now mm -hmm. but i'm gonna do my makeup my full beat full glam i think i'm gonna put my hair in a pony Mostly because it's really dirty. But also so my makeup will just be like there, you know, like Bam. in your face. Bam. So I'm gonna start doing that right now. I feel like it's gonna take me forever because whenever I do my makeup, like all the steps, it just takes me a really long time. So we're gonna get started right now so we can head on over to Sephora and see how that goes. Bam. All right, I'm gonna start with my foundation. Probably should start with my... <laughs> okay, this is already starting poorly. Guys, I was gonna use the Makeup Forever HD stick because I haven't used it in such a long time. Literally, there's nothing in it. Let me see what this other shade. It feels, this feels a bit light to me, but I think it's actually fine. I'm going full coverage foundation, contour and baking, the whole shebang. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous, guys. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like my makeup's gonna be judged. Okay, I'm gonna make this a bit of an Instagram moment. I'm gonna go like, <laughs> you know how they do everything very extreme. Gonna do like my highlight, very high. I don't know, why am I being extra sloppy on this today? Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna keep going with this. I'm telling you, I'm going all out. Okay, maybe this is a little bit too much just for a Sephora trip. Having to do your makeup for like three hours before so they'll actually pay attention to you at Sephora. <laughs> Woo! We can't forget that. This contour making me feel like I legit can't breathe. I'm like, you guys, I know this is looking really crazy right now, but I promise it will come through at the very end. All right, on my eyes, I'm gonna be using the new Huda Nude Palette. It looks so pretty, guys. Like, seriously, so pretty. So I'm gonna start with Tickle. And although this is gonna be like kind of like full glam, I still want it to be more on the lighter side, just because that's what I'm feeling today. All right, I take that back. This actually goes on a little bit darker than expected, but I like it, so we're gonna just keep working this. I'm actually also gonna bring back color Tickle on my lower lash line. I really should be using another brush. Now I'm gonna take this color Crave, and I feel like it's actually better to use it just with my finger. Now I'm actually gonna add a bit more depth to this with Spanked. All right, now I found this MAC Cranberry Liner. I just, I actually went to pick up a purple one, but Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I hope I don't get judged on my liner skills because, I mean, we know they're not the best. And then also I was trying to fix my brow and look, I messed this up. <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna be judged. Uh, Guys, I really feel nervous. I'm just gonna go and fix like my hair and maybe put on a clean t-shirt and I'll come back because right now I'm just feeling like... All right, guys, I'm back. New hair, who this? Oh, it's just a lot of hairspray and a lot of dirty hair, okay? But I'm gonna keep going. Now we're gonna do some mascara and falsies. Lashes are done. Now I'm gonna add some blush. I'm gonna add NARS Orgasm. And I have to do lips. And of course I have to do lip liner because, I mean, all the stuffs. I'm gonna add Fenty Unbutton in the middle shower myself but shower setting spray Ooh. Ooh. all of it all of it <laughs> Ooh. take her swimming on the first date all right so now i'm gonna use some highlight wait i need to do the highlight move Ooh. all right guys so i am ready i feel like i covered all the stuffs i think if i'm forgetting something let me know but yeah now i'm gonna head on over to sephora i'm actually so nervous guys i 
have never gotten into Sephora with a full face, mostly because I'm just scared of what they'll think, of what they'll say. Of I'm just scared they'll treat me like they treated me when I was wearing that makeup on purpose. But you know, sometimes when you're like, maybe my makeup looks kind of bad and I don't realize it, you know? And I was just scared of being judged and now I know it happens, so I'm a little bit nervous. But we're gonna go in. I think the makeup looks pretty good. But I, I, I don't know. I'm not a professional makeup artist. Oh god, okay, my heart's seriously like beating out of my chest and it doesn't make any sense for me to be so nervous about going to the store, but I am. All right guys, we're heading on over to Sephora. I guess you can kind of see my outfit there. I'm wearing like the same thing I wore. Well, it's a different t-shirt, but I put on a white one. Same thing I wore when I was wearing no makeup. Let's see, fingers crossed. Okay guys, so we're about to head into Sephora. I took this off. Did you just see my makeup? <laughs> I feel like it's getting a little bit oily, what? Okay, so we're gonna go inside and I'm just gonna see if they offer any help. I feel like the last times I've gone to Sephora, they haven't really offered help and I've had to ask for it. Sometimes they like, do help me, sometimes they don't. It depends. You guys, a girl at Macy's said my makeup looked pretty. Yeah. <gasps> I wish I would've been filming that. I was like, oh my God, okay. I, I just gonna come to Macy's now. Bye. Okay, we're going in. You guys, you keep saying I'm awkward. I think I'm just an awkward person that I look suspicious. I'm just awkward. All right, we're gonna go. I really want to buy this, but I don't know if I should have it in my hands. I'm heading over to like the Sephora collection part. The part that nobody ever wants you to buy at. I have like some translucent powder here. Shadows, right? Yes, shadows. Okay. Uh, what are you currently using? What have you tried? What do you have? I'm using the Huda. The Huda palette? Me! I want something that's like really basic. My gallery here is Ooh, pretty eyeliner. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. And you're like, yes. Oh, neutral palette? Yeah, just like everything is like Huda. Yeah, but it's so big. The Huda. You trying something new. Do you want something smaller? Yes. I feel like I helped you before. Oh, you did? I feel it. I, the sound of your voice, it sounds so familiar. I'm like, I feel like I helped her before. Oh, I've been shopping here a lot. <laughs> See, you think like, you have Buddha, so that's I'm like, that's really good. Oh. And aside from that, but that's what I'm saying, you just want something smaller in yeah. size. Yeah, smaller in size, but still good. But this isn't that much smaller. Really? I never use Tarte. Tarte's good? Well, that one's the, the toaster. Oh, this one. The one oh, that okay. I'm going to show you is this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can try this one. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right guys, so we just got out of Sephora and that was the quickest trip ever to Sephora. I thought it was gonna take forever, but it was so fast because literally, okay, this is what happened. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So we walked into Sephora and first of all, <laughs> this is so weird, but Gordo got like stopped for a second by, was it like somebody that worked there or just a girl? Oh, like, a, like somebody that was shopping there. I think it was somebody that was shopping there. Somebody that was shopping. Yeah. So somebody that was shopping stopped him and was asking if I was like this person and he was like, no, that's like my wife, Mar. And she was like, oh, she looks so familiar, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to pick up some of my Laura Mercier looks loose powder because I, I ran out while I was doing all this baking. So I picked up that powder and then right after somebody from Sephora kind of like saw me and it was so strange because she was like setting something down and she saw me and she was like about to ignore me which is weird she was about to leave but then she was like she kind of did a double take and she was like can I help you so it's weird I feel like she, if I wouldn't have been wearing any makeup she would have probably have ignored me so she asked if like, she could help me and I asked you guys on Instagram what I should ask for and you guys were like ask for the new nude palette which is pretty much such a random question I mean what nude palette but I asked for that and she was like okay yeah let me help you again I feel that if I would have been wearing a bat makeup or no makeup they would have been like what you talking about people or like the guy at Mac who was like Tell me exactly what you want But yeah So she actually called another girl over So at some point there were two people taking care of me Like two people talking to me from Sephora I've never experienced this before And then the other girl helped me She asked me what shadows I was wearing I told her Huda And she really approved of that She complimented my liner And I was like oh my God. Remember? I was so nervous about my liner. And then she just kind of showed me around some makeup. She recommended some palette. And she just gave it to me and then that was off. I mean, there was not really much else for me to ask about. The only thing is that the girl that actually ended up helping me, she was like, Oh my god, you sound so familiar to me. Like your voice, you're so familiar. And I was like, oh. And I'm pretty sure this was not the same girl from when I had no makeup on. I'll actually check and let you guys know here. So I'm not sure because when I went with no makeup, I already had like a bit of a vibe that I, I felt almost like they recognized me and they knew who I was. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. But then when I went to check out, the girl at checkout was like, Smiling at me? Maybe she likes my makeup. But it's a different type of smile. I don't even know how to describe it, but it wasn't like a customer service smile. It was just like, 
Hey. And she also said my name correctly. Guys, I mean, nobody says my name right. Nobody says Marielle. So I was like, oh, thank you. I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not really sure if they, somebody in Sephora has seen one of these videos and they kind of knew what I was doing. So they were like, be nice to her. Or if they just liked my makeup and they were like, oh, let me help you. I don't know, but I actually had a really nice experience. I enjoyed my shopping, although it was very, very quick because they were just like, in and out they were like what do you need let me help you and then i got my stuff and they left but yeah i'm not gonna lie it was nice it's nice to be treated like a human when you go to the store but yeah guys this was my experience i've actually been talking to you guys a lot on instagram about this i've gotten a bunch of comments from you guys but i would love to know more so leave a comment right there and tell me what other crazy stories you've had it could be at sephora it could be another store where they've treated you maybe differently or something weird has happened this is something that's really so interesting to me and also let me know if you'd like to see another video like this but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i will leave another cool video right here for you guys to go check out now yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.